We're glad to know you're still there. It's uh, the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, we've been talking about state police for a very long time, and now we know that the bill is at the National Assembly. But what we're talking about today is that this bill denies governors sweeping powers over state police. Uh, joining us to um, X-ray this is a security expert, Mr. Augustin Ega. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Ega. Hello, good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to meet you this morning. Okay. It's our pleasure as well. Um, the question is um, just a brief overview. Uh, we've seen that the bill has been taken to the National Assembly, but we now understand that the governors do not have absolute power on uh, the security um, outfit, the state security uh, or state police, as we call it all that so what is your take on the fact that the governors will not have absolute control yes i can hear you a little break okay can i repeat my question now Yes, you can recap, please. Okay, fine. Uh, the bill uh, to create state police has reached the National Assembly, but we understand the provisions of this bill uh, have it that the governors do not have absolute powers over the state police. What is your take as a security expert? Well, uh, as usual, uh, I don't see the government ready to tackle security. Uh, because uh, security is not something which we play politics with. Knowing that there are so many uh, events that have happened in Nigeria, the economy of the country has been brought down in some aspects of Nigeria because of uh, its security. And so uh, for the government to begin to drag on this with the governors, I think it's not right. State police is state police, federal police is federal police. We should just set this very clear. I know from my own sake, I think they are afraid that some states uh, might hijack this for their own private advantage. But I don't think that's the right way. We have seen this. I have seen this in the Southwest, especially uh, the Amoteco that they have in Oyo State. Oyo State is the capital of Amoteco. It is operating very well. The governor, the governor is in charge. And you see that they are very sweet in every response that they have. They are achieving a lot with the little that they have. So they should allow them to decide on this. Federal will have their own say where it's necessary. But to avoid bureaucracy in security operations, it is better to allow government to, say, to, 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 to follow up on this. Okay, so like for instance now um, with this bill, it's saying that the commissioner of police um, would have the the ultimate you know rights for this now if you look at the federal police obviously it's the idea of police that is at the elm of affairs although the governor um the president can actually direct or instruct him on what to do so now with the commissioner of police being here isn't that still coming from the ig of police and mm -hmm. by bypassing um the governor of the state the every everything it, every Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. Right. Yes, I don't think, I don't see that as a problem. I don't see anything working as a problem because it's like managing everything. As the CEO of the state, that I'm talking about the government, mm -hmm. it is critical uh, that security should be managed like every other kind of business. You have people that you must network with in order to make it work. I don't have a problem having, even if it's a state police, they're still going to have a commissioner of police. But from wherever they are borrowing this system from, I mean the federal uh, system that we practice in Nigeria, they should borrow everything and do it properly. We have this working in the U.S. very well. They have even the state police, they have federal police, and they have the sheriffs working at the local level. And they know when to commit every matter to every, uh, to every, uh, every office. So what we, are, what we are seeing is not something new. It's not something new at all. But they are just trying to be politics with everything. In fact, what they are going from what they are doing now, it seems that they are not ready to deal with security issues. And that is my take on this. The government is not ready. In fact, they are comfortable with the insecurity that is happening in Nigeria. Okay. If you have seen this uh, bill, 
uh, whether you have not seen whether you have seen it or not but what are some of your concerns in this bill things that uh, you th you think should have been part of this bill or should not have been part of this bill if you were to advise the government at this moment what i would say is that it's the same kind of bureaucracy that we've had in the past when they grant this bill to the national assembly they want to delay on it they are not comfortable with it some persons are not comfortable with this bill after they want to delay you see that they will delay it until the league government so uh, on my take is that they should allow this with the state government, there's a way they can come in. But not that everything should channel through them. They should allow the state government to organize it. Like I say, there's a case study in the Southwest, to be particular on your state. They are doing very well on this. This some of these states uh, should be consulted. How have they gone far? And then even go through it and then see how they can uh, they can bring other states to copy from them. So uh, that's my take on it. So some people would argue that um, if the state governors are the ones running the affairs, then they can just abuse power. For instance, if, so if someone, you know, is not doing my bidding, I, since I control the, the state's police, I can decide to harass the person, I can decide to jail the person or do whatever I can because obviously I'm the chief security officer of the state. So are you not, um, isn't that a worry for you or isn't that a concern? And if, for instance, we are to give absolute powers to the state governors, then how can we curb this? How can we make sure that the state governors will, you know, be at the elm of the affairs, but then would not abuse power? No matter what, it's, uh, the state governments, uh, they, don't, they don't operate on, in, 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 in autonomy. They still report to the federal level. No matter what every state government is doing, there is a place where they connect with the state government. Uh, sorry, the federal government. And at this point of coming, uh, uh, this kind of uh, state police, I, I am very concerned. I am very concerned that, yes, even now that we have the, the, the federal police working, there are, still, there are some state governors that are still abusing the rights. Mm. They are still doing it. So by this bill, we don't say that this bill is just going to operate. We got the, the, the federal government or the state government uh, uh, networking with the state government, uh, the federal government to, to get some directives. But what me, I am very, very uh, concerned with is the delays that will come over there. Is the delay that will come over there until we will not get it. We are already in a very critical situation. Things should be done in a very swiftly. That's what I'm looking at. Mm. Yeah, well, I do hope that in all of this, uh, private security outfits will also have a role to play because uh, no matter how much they, um, the government invests in security, if private individuals and communities are not involved, it might be a problem. I hope that you also have a place in this bill uh, to contribute your quota to our security in Nigeria. Yes, uh, I think this bill will help uh, uh, because every 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 private security operates within a location in a state, mm. and so that the bulk of the security problem happens in the state and happens in a particular locality. That is the region. I feel that, uh, like uh, we have always said, that as long as security private security is deployed in every area, they have a lot of intelligence. Of criminality happening within the neighborhood or within, within the area uh, that they cover. So uh, this bill will make it easier for them uh, to have a handshake with the private or the state police that will be working hand in hand so that they can quickly process crime and then uh, and limit every uh, insecurity within that area. Okay. Well, this is where we'll have to wrap it up. Uh, Mr. Edgar, thank you so much for coming and sharing your thoughts this morning with us. Thank you. Thank you. We've been talking with Mr. Austin Agbega, uh, who is a security expert. We were looking at the fact that this new bill on state police gives, doesn't give absolute powers to the state governors. And his major concern was that uh, there's been a delay and there may be a continuous delay until maybe this 10th uh, assembly leaves uh, leaves. Uh, Office, office as it is but we do hope that things will be hastened up and we will have a state police and possibly uh, solve part of our security problems in nigeria
But eventually, this is also where we need to wrap up. Yes, this is where we draw the curtain on morning. the show. Mm. It's been a pleasure being with you this morning. Thank you for being a part of our show. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. My name is Rome Paulson. Have an amazing day.